I am on the battlefield for my Lord. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. And I promise him that I I would serve him till I die. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Onward, Christian soldier, marching as to war. With the cross of Jesus going on before. Hmm. You know, in the word of God, the scripture says that the kingdom of heaven suffereth, violence suffereth, and the violent take it by force. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. We are soldiers in the army of the Most High God. We are babies. We are children of God fighting full-grown demons, addiction, anger, divorce, disease, danger, demise, depression, downtroddenness, and on. And we're nothing but children of God. Sometimes I have to catch people. They call me man of God. And I tell them, no, I'm a child of God. And they, they be kind of taken back as I argue my, uh, my case because, see, I'm a man biologically. But I'm a child spiritually, so I need help in this supernatural war that is not fair. <laughs> I was talking to my sweetie yesterday, somebody I really, really care about, and I've grown to care about him in a deep way. Beautiful, beautiful soul. And, and we were talking on the phone, just, I mean, I'm just listening to her talk. Yes, it's a she. And she started talking about how she feel bad when she have to fight with people and have to win and have to overcome them and have to, you know, put it to rest or, and I, and I was listening to her talk and when she finished, with a lot of people to finish, and I got the entire sum of the matter of the story. And I said to her, I said, I said, sweetie, I said, don't never feel bad about destroying or killing or eradicating evil, evil in someone, an evil attack. Don't ever be sad about having to kill a full-grown demon because the enemy uh, goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour to kill to steal and to destroy and i can tell you one of the worst pains in the world the worst pain in the world is for a parent a father a mother our father in heaven one of the most awful pains in the world. I've lost my first child at the age of 23. I was in the army. Stationed in Darmstadt, Germany. West Germany at the time. And it's an awful pain to have to bury a child. God is pained and he's grieved and, and, and it hurts him when he sees his children being slaughtered and uh, being unequally yoked and uh, being took down through there or taken down. So don't feel bad about having to defend yourself. Don't feel bad about having to destroy one of Satan's very own. We are God's elect. And Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke the enemy of our soul right now. It's supernatural warfare. It's super. It's supernatural. It's war, but it's not fair. And you got to kill what you got to kill. I've been a soldier all my life. I grew up in the projects. I had to be a street soldier. <laughs> I joined the United States Army. I'm a veteran of the United States Army. A 29 Echo and the 31 November 3-0. And now I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. So don't feel bad when you have to uh, take care or take down or take someone or something out. Because I promise you, no demon, no no, no, no hell how, no principality, no, no rulers in high places, no uh, nothing from hell is grieving when it destroys you with drugs, you with divorce, you with alcohol. Nothing uh, and, 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 and hell rejoices, uh, uh, hell only rejoices when one of God's children is destroyed or hurt. So don't, don't take no prisoners. Don't take no prisoners at all. This is a great controversy between good and evil. Sometimes people we love have evil beings in them. People we've been married to, people we got children with. 
people we've grown to love and grow old or grow up or grow old because of. And sometimes they are casualties of supernatural warfare. I'm not advocating violence. I'm not advocating destroying or taking care of no human being or taking them off this planet. Coworker. But what I am talking about is don't feel bad for doing what you have to do. Don't feel bad for overcoming and winning in a supernatural war. Don't feel bad when someone get do justice. Don't feel bad when someone's been trying to, when someone's dug you a grave and they fall in it. Don't feel bad when somebody has tried to destroy you for many, many years and they never succeeded and they still trying. Don't feel bad when uh, your ex-husband, ex-wife mean your downfall and you see them fall down and they can't get up as I leave this alone. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. And I promise him that I, I would serve him till I die. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I've been a soldier all my life. I've been fighting to make it, fighting myself, fighting to overcome, fighting to survive, fighting to get over, fighting in Walmart, <laughs> fighting the DMV. But don't be afraid uh, to destroy an evil being man. Uh, don't be afraid to eradicate a demon. Got mm. me. Ooh, this morning just on fire. But onward, Christian soldier. Onward, believer. Onward, uh, the evangelical thrust of the most high God. High God. Onward. Don't take no prisoners. Take them out. Take that demon out. They're trying to take you out. Don't be fearful, because for the Bible says you have not the spirit of fear, but the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, which means Father and Aramaic. Mm. Don't be afraid. Uh, take them out and take them down. Don't take no prisoners in this war. <laughs> That's an that old man in me, I guess. Don't take no prisoners in this supernatural war. It's their face you must remember, but the one you're battling has no soul. It's come to take you out. Don't take no prisoners. You are a soldier in the army of the most high God. High God. El Shaddai has not uh, allowed you to come this far. He has not. He, see, he says he'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. He says great is you. He great is uh, he that is in ye than he that is in the world. Don't let him take you out. The Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It don't say it wouldn't hurt. He said it wouldn't prosper. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Take no prisoners. Take them out. Stop playing with that demon. Stop playing with that devil. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, rebuke him. Submit to God. Resist the devil. And he'll flee from you. But don't have the spirit of fear. You've been adopted by the most high God. You have some, some universal, some faithful, some, some, some awesome rights of being adopted by the most high God. So tap into that, that inward parts. Tap into your spirit. Tap into the Holy Spirit. Tap into that connection with God. Tap into power you never tapped into before. And make that demon tap out. Don't wound it. Don't shoot at it. Cut his head off. Send it back to hell where it belongs. Don't be afraid of what a man can do to you. Don't be afraid at all. You are the child. You, we are the children of the most high God. A holy nation. Peculiar people. Hold on to God's unchanging hand and don't let go. You can't win. You're on the winning team. Peace. One.